Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Caitlin from Caitlin Plans and today I am planning in my skinny classic social media planner for the week of November 2nd through 8th and I'm using the new Disney Princess Happy Planner sticker book. Um, I am hosting a giveaway for this on my Instagram currently when this video goes up. It does close on the 31st, so Halloween at 11.59 p.m. Central Time. So if you're following me on Instagram, make sure you submit your entries before then. Um, I have two of them. I bought one for myself because FOMO is a real thing. I'm not a huge Disney princess person or Disney person. Princesses I'm a little more fond of, but I'm going to use my favorite princess to make this spread, which is Tiana. And I have my wax paper right here. I was figuring I would just kind of pull stickers at the beginning of the video and then we'll get into the planning. So this one is like a wreath. It says, never be afraid to dream big. And there is a whole section of stickers for Tiana in this sticker book. I do want to get one of these in there, kind of like down here in the bottom. I'm thinking the iconic green dress. I might play around with some of these smaller icons, but I haven't decided yet. I don't really need any of these because they're cooking, celebrate, date night, salon, self-care, and market. And this is a social media planner, so I don't really need any of those things. Monthly boxes are perfect um, for the size of this planner. So this one says, you are made of magic. It's like a beautiful sage green color. I like this one that's like the, it's kind of a play on that pink and green tropical leaf pattern and then it has the frog integrated into it. So I'm going to use that one. Love this sticker. This is probably my favorite one in this set of stickers. It says light the way to your dreams. It's foiled. It has some florals. The lettering is beautiful and it's not too over the top. That was one of my main concerns about this sticker book was that I wasn't going to use a whole bunch of these princess stickers. I don't really like like sticker dolls. Um, so this is like a little bit out of what I typically use, but I think it'll be fun to play around with it, especially since it's a brand new sticker book. So we've got those ones. I know there were some companion animals in the back. So we got the two frogs and I was thinking I would pair them together. And then we're gonna have to pull some colorful boxes into this, but there's not a whole lot of um, like basic colorful boxes in this book. So we'll pull them from elsewhere. I'm thinking pink and green colorful boxes for this spread. I am thinking I'm also gonna do only one Instagram post a day this week, just because of my schedule getting kind of busy. I'm gonna take this off the discs real fast. I do think the black and white stripes will be fine. So I'm going to leave those as is. So I want to get Tiana right over here. So I need to white out a space for her, but I just don't know how much room I need. We're going to put down the base of her dress and then I'm going to hold the top half while I use my white gel pen. Okay, now that we have some of that line whited out, I will put her top half down on the page. Definitely takes up a lot of this notes area, so I might want to get rid of the notes icon because I'm not going to be writing anything here. This is one of those stickers where the print can be viewed in multiple directions. So if I have it sideways like this, there are frogs that are facing upwards, which I like. So I'm going to actually use it sideways. I'm not sure where I want to use it. I'm thinking Thursday. So I'm going to do it like this and then... I, I said Thursday. This is actually Wednesday. I promise I can read. My hand was just over the day. I'm going to use my colorful box like right here on top of it. I only have four of this color, but I'm going to also use some pink ones. So green will go on Wednesday. I want to make sure that I get down my other full box sticker. I know the full box stickers in this spread or I know the full box stickers when I make my social media spreads always end up going like right here. I'm a creature of habit, so I kind of follow the same layout pattern every week. It just kind of moves around depending on what I'm doing that week. 
This one says you are made of magic, as I previously said, and I'm gonna overlap it also on this full box. I don't like how the edges line up though. Also, my nails have fresh paint on them, so I'm worried that if I accidentally drag them across the page, it'll scuff the page and get like a weird orange-red mark on the planner, and I don't want that. So that looks good like that. Never be afraid to dream big. It's gonna have to go, I was saying it would have to go like here, but it feels too like, like that. I don't know how to explain it. It feels too much like that. So I'm thinking I'm gonna drop it down and kind of add it into this cluster that I have growing off of Wednesday. But that requires more white gel pen. I'm not sure if I want the wreath to actually go over into this or just like hover above it. We're gonna go with the hovering method. So it's not gonna actually intersect, it's just gonna stay here, which I like. Or maybe I don't like. I don't know. <laughs> I want to get these frogs in and I think they'll be good up here, especially since this is such like a busy cluster of things happening. And I'm positioning them so it appears as if one frog is kissing the other. How cute. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put this one right next to it. Beautiful frogs. I'm not digging this cluster so I'm gonna actually peel up the monthly and then I think we'll drop down the wreath. So this time now that we know that it doesn't look good like I had it I'm gonna layer it. Try to keep it straight. Okay so as a cluster that looks much better to me and then we could cover up Saturday or we could just go like this. I know the colorful box for Saturday is going to have to go here. Now I'm going to get in my colorful boxes. Friday is going to go right up above the frogs. We have just enough room for that, so apparently I planned that very well, even though there was no planning involved in it. And for Sunday, we do have a YouTube video, so we'll go over here with the Instagram post, so I have this room for YouTube. Now I'm going to find some pink that kind of matches this. So I have these ones. They don't match the background of the colorful box here, but I think they match the overall scheme. I could find one that matches the background a little bit better, but I'm worried that if I overlap them, it's going to blend in a little too much. So we'll just go over here on Tuesday. Gonna have a YouTube video on Wednesday that I'm gonna have to like layer like that. So we'll go also down here on Thursday. So they're kind of forming a column over here. Saturday is gonna go there. YouTube videos, I'm using one box size up. And there's not a lot of room on Wednesday for what I'm trying to do. I'm worried that if I put it here, it's going to be two of the same color, so maybe I'm going to peel this one up and move it there. Not a lot of room for a video on Friday, but there is room for one on Sunday. And I think we'll do one Monday this week. I know it seems counterintuitive for me to like plan my content around just what looks good in the planner, but that's how I do things around here. You'll get used to it. Got some room on Thursday. Maybe we'll put something in this area. Haven't decided yet. There are some little header stickers in this book and I'm gonna use those to indicate YouTube. Maybe? Is that overkill? No, we like overkill. Okay, so we got a trom trumpet, trombone, I don't know my instruments well. My brass instruments, that is. Okay, we got a lily pad. And then a leaf. I'm gonna decorate with some of these little flowers. I think this little cluster kind of fills up the space a little bit more. Probably add a leaf in right up there. 
feels weird to have floral clusters on this page and not this one, so I guess we'll find a spot to put them in. Could be fun to just do like right over here. Yeah, I like this little cluster that's going on right there. I, I don't know about the notes. Maybe it'll just stay the way it is. I really like the gold foiling over here. I want to bring that gold foiling in elsewhere, so I brought this sticker book, which is the new Merry and Bright sticker book, and it has all of these little gold page flags, and I'm just going to use those as my bullet points. Okay, I decided to do them on the YouTube videos as well to make it a little more cohesive, and I like the way that it turned out. I'm gonna take this colorful box that's not actually a colorful box. It is a colorful box outline that I put on label paper. And I'm gonna put that one down here. And I'm gonna use this one to mark when I've completed my ambassador posts for the week because I post for two different brands. So I would like to keep track of that. I don't like how it's arranged, so I'm gonna actually bump this um, post box up a little bit. I think that layout looks a lot better. I want something maybe in that space. I'm not sure. I feel like I keep filling in holes and then it's just going to get too busy. And I don't want to do frogs because I have frogs right there, but there's a copy of the book princess and the frog that could go there. And then maybe to fill in this and make it more like a line, I'll add in a lily pad right underneath her dress. Mm -hmm. So I got two different brands that I post for. I'm going to want some marker of some sort. Back to my Merry and Bright sticker book. I like these little heart arrow thingies. Yeah, I'm gonna bump the top one down just a bit. Yeah, that looks much better. Okay, so with that, I think my Princess Tiana social media spread is done. If you liked this video, make sure you hit that like button down below, subscribe to my channel for more fun planner related content, and follow me on Instagram at Caitlin Plans, where you can enter to win a copy of this sticker book, a brand new copy, not the one I used today. And that will be open through Halloween, October 31st at 11.59 p.m. Central Time. So make sure you get your entries in, stick around to see my planner spreads after the pen, as well as photos of spreads that did not get videos. I hope to see you there. Thank you and happy planning.